And now, storm tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Tracking a storm right now, not too far from us, but the way the atmosphere will uh, situated right now will keep most of the storm to our south. We're looking at some thicker clouds over northern Nevada. Those clouds are associated with an area of low pressures moving over northern California. That system may bring some snow to the southeast highlands, at least for the areas south and east of Pocatello. So if you want fresh snow tomorrow, head south. Yeah, you may see some in Malad City, maybe as far north as Incom. So here we go, another round. But for the most part, for the rest of us at least, it will be dry. We won't really see much out of it. 15 already in Idle Falls, West Yellowstone at 12. We're at 30 in Billings, 15 in Jackson. Uh, Twin Falls at about 23, 19 in Haley. So all these places are uh, cold. But I'll tell you what, that 36 in Lewiston, that would be really nice about right now. 15 degrees warmer, we'll take it. A uh, colder one tonight. Needless to say, low temperatures for all areas will be in the single digits or even colder for Pocatello right at 9. Last night, we had a low of 15. So, yeah, 9 is definitely colder. It's going to feel that way in the morning. Idaho Falls down to 5. Last night, with the low clouds in place and some fog out there, we actually stayed pretty toasty. So tonight for Idaho Falls, almost 10 to 15 degrees colder than last night. We got the goose egg in St. Anthony, 9 in American Falls. Even colder up in the central mountains, Stanley down to 17 below zero tonight. So, yeah, we shouldn't complain about our single digits when a lot of us are going to be dropping well below zero. Afton's going to be one of those spots down to minus 15. Yellowstone 10 below, Drake 16 below. Even colder in Island Park than it was last night. A lot of low clouds today. Some of those clouds are burning off. So Island Park, you'll get below zero. Downey tonight will have a goose egg for a loaf. Minus four in Soda Springs. Montpelier, colder than you were last night at minus 10. And then tomorrow for the Southeast Highlands, I mentioned this just a moment ago, snow possible. You got to get south of Pocatello, and then the chances will increase all the way into northern Utah. Preston will see a high of 26, Montpelier at 22. Now for the upper highlands, western Wyoming, no new snow, just a lot of sunshine with high temperatures in the 20s, barely 20 in Yellowstone. Uh, for the Central Mountains, plenty of sunshine. It'll look warm. We'll need that sun to help us warm up in the 20s. And then for the southeast, or at least for the Snake River Plain, we're looking at a, a mainly sunny sky. I think if you're around Pocatello, that should be partly sunny. Farther north you go, the more sunshine you will see. And the weather will turn a bit sunnier for your Thursday as temperatures try to climb. We're still pretty cold tomorrow night, Thursday morning. Our next chance of snow for Pocatello won't be until next Tuesday. Yeah, so just, just cold and dry, especially cold at night. Idle fall seven-day forecast. The next several nights will be in the single digits. And then we got a decent weekend. So if you're traveling, hey, good weather for that. Can't complain, right, this time of year. Tuesday, we could see snow. Teton area, no new snow to really uh, look at here until maybe next Tuesday. It might get a little threatening on Saturday, but look at the lows. Ooh, down in the single digits at least with a couple nights below zero. Central Mountains, definitely a couple nights below zero with high temperatures trying to warm up in the 30s. That won't happen until about Sunday. We could see some snow on Tuesday. 